It's the NFL on EA Sports as you get a look inside Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the New England Patriots. Kicker Chad Ryland has this one teed up, and we are underway. Off we go in Foxborough. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12 yard line. wondering if their game plan is incorrect you know I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well that interception early they may rethink how they go about attacking and a quick throw here that's complete touchdown Patriots Mike Gesicki a nine yard touchdown Chad Ryland now to add the PAT to make it 7-0 Patriots. Well, Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Touchdown, New Orleans! Keith Kirkwood, 72 yards. And the Saints are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. We, <laughs> less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. Gets by him, and now a little daylight. Now he breaks free in the middle of the field. Inside the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson, 75 yards. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's going to be out of bounds here as the run back will leave him shy of the 20-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And CD, you know, sometimes you don't need those complicated game plans or the added wrinkles. Last time, how you think about it, couldn't have been any simpler. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Jonathan Jones. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. On the counter, it's Stevenson. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The tight end, Henry, here in motion. Now he dumps this off over the middle. Still fighting for more. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Zappi back to throw. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Elliott, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. Third and goal. Here's Zappi. And that is incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. On fourth down, Jones. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. An incompletion there on fourth and goal from the three. And the Saints able to come up with a goal line stand. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. This to Graham on the short pass. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Now a second and two. Brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Working out of the gun, Winston. Into the hands of Perry, complete. Now inside the 25. Touchdown, New Orleans! A.T. Perry, 78 yards. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. 
And that touchdown drive happened very, very quickly. You knew that they had the quick strike ability. They showed it. And for a defense that understands that, it still drives them crazy when it actually happens to them. Fast and furious, there came the points. Here's Groupie for the PAT. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. Pretty entertaining start. 14 all the score on EA Sports. The Saints with the football here to begin quarter number two. As they've got it as we resume action. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback. The Pats at the line ready to go. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now, but let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. He'll go underneath here to Stevenson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. Zappi's throw here, taken in by Gesicki. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, it's Stevenson. And to Marco Jackson, the man to bring him down defensively. Second and nine. Zappi. Open man here, the tight end Henry. And this is going to be an all first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 15 yard line. And Zappi to throw. Open man completes it to Smith Schuster. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. Now Zappi. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. In motion, right goes Smith Schuster. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. How Charles, remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Jameis Winston and the Saints are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. 
What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. Well, let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Zappi from the gun. Got Stevenson again, back-to-back -back plays. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Zappi looking to throw it on first down. Over the middle, complete. That's Henry. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Play fake, and now here's Zappi. And incomplete on the deep ball. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. On second down, it's Stevenson. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 95 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Zappi. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just get rid of it. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. There's Zappi, another shot on second down. He'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Zappi working from the gun. Escaping the pressure right. And it is caught, and he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First down. First and goal at the six-yard line. They'll throw again with Zappi. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. It's a six-yard touchdown pass, and the Patriots will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Ryland, up and good, and that gives him a three-point lead. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. With his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. The Saints in the hurry up here. Clock continuing to roll. Now a second down throw for Winston. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 
The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Winston. They'll set up the screen now to Camaro. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second and a couple. Now Winston. And oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. Three first half interceptions now, and Charles, you'd have to think a fair amount of concern is developing over there on that sideline. And there should be, because essentially he's been a little loose and possibly reckless with the football here in the first half. Now, maybe it's not all on him, but still, three interceptions, that puts the entire team in jeopardy. So the play call from here on out, got to design some throws for him that he can complete, keep it away from the defense, and try and get him back on track. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense. Well, that's caught at the 25. Touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, 71 yards. And the Patriots come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Well, Ryland now following the touchdown, back out to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Patriot defense has a touchdown. First and ten, Winston. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Perry. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Touchdown, Saints. A.T. Perry, 66 yards. And the Saints are back within a score. It's been quite the game for him individually. A trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route. Whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. 
New England with a first down as they begin the drive. We've got a close game. The offense has played well, but right now, they've got to keep their foot on the gas. And that carries with it an extra bit of pressure, doesn't it? As much fun as they're having right now, they're locked in, really clicking on all cylinders. They also know that if they ever miss a chance to put points on the board, they've actually put their team in jeopardy. And that's not how you want to play the game. It's supposed to be complimentary football, offense, defense. But today, it's all offense for them. Yeah, they've been playing with a sense of urgency. It's probably going to need to continue. Stevenson now on first and 10. And a pretty quick burst there as he get this across midfield and down to the 46. 113 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. On first down, here's Zappi. Here's a diving catch right side. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. Down to about the 22 here. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Zappi sees something changing the play. Second and three. Complete. It's Henry. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Here's Stevenson. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The tight end, Henry, here in motion. Touchdown, Patriots! Ramondre Stevenson. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Pats are able to add on to that lead. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And Charles, the name of the game last time, efficiency. Their very first snap, they connected for a quick touchdown. They get more value than just the points from that series as well. Only needing one play, it keeps the entire offense rested up. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Working out of the gun, Winston. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Winston now. to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time is now run out. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Jameis to throw it. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. The first down throw for Winston. The connection made, it's Graham. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. To the air again with Winston. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. They'll send the tight end in motion left. Winston on third and two. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung out. 
instead, it was a well-timed collision to jump that one free. chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to run for it with Miller. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Kendra Miller taking it in from seven yards away. And the Saints have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. A big spot now for the Saints as they'll indeed go for two. A two-point conversion is successful, and the lead is down to a field goal here in the fourth. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try to protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive, and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. Oh man, late in the tight ball game, every play so critical, you feel like you've got to find a way to come up with that football. That was put in a great spot, but it just didn't want to stick in his hands. That's a big letdown. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they might have to give the football up and sweat it out on the side. And now they're in the hurry up. Now Jones. Flushed out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. Second and ten. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. And this offense on third down today, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And the offense moving quickly to the line. In motion, right goes Smith-Schuster. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive took a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settled things down a little bit. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. 
And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. And quickly they get to the line. Jones looking to change the play. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Buying time to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now they'll audible to something else. Stevenson will take this one in. Touchdown, Patriots. Now Ryan for the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They'll come up first and 10 here. Winston. Into the hands of Perry, complete. <laughs> this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. To the right side, complete to Miller. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle. Well, the clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. And they'll turn to Camara. And he'll get in for the two points, and in so doing, cut the deficit to two points. So with 14 seconds on the clock, they've got to go with the onside kick. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So with 14 seconds on the clock, they've got to go with the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball. Here, I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he's brought down after a very nice game. And that will get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome. But 